All right, guys, in this video, we are going to implement the Chakra input component, which is basically an input form control that uses a few Chakra components that will take care of the styling. Similar to the forming controls we have implemented earlier, we will break down this video into three steps. First step, we write the code in a new component. In our case, the Chakra input component. Second step, we write the code in the formic control component. Third and final step, we include the component in one of our forms and test it out in the browser. Let's begin. For step one, we need to create a new component. So within the components folder, I'm going to create a new file called chakrainput.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a function component. For this component, we need to import a couple of things. First, we import field from formic. Second, from the Chakra core package, we are going to import a few UI components related to an input form field. We have input, form control, form label, and form error message. Next, let's talk about the props. From the props received, we are going to destructure, label, name, and leave the rest. For the JSX, we return the field component. However, unlike the regular input component, we will need to use the render props pattern for this field component. So we add name prop. And within the opening and closing tags, curly braces and function as children. From the render props, we destructure field and form. We need these two properties to make our component work. This arrow function again needs to return JSX. That is where we will make use of all the components from Chakra. At the top level, we wrap everything with the form control component. So return form control. Within the form control, we add the form label component. It is going to render the label prop. We are also going to set HTML4 is equal to the name prop. After the label, we are going to add the input component from Chakra. On this component, we specify id is equal to name and then spread rest of the props after which we spread the field props. Finally, we add the form error message component to render the error message. This is going to be form.errors of name. Now, if you notice, we did not specify that the error message has to render only if the field has been visited. That is because Chakra provides another prop at the form control level called is invalid. Over here, we set the condition form control is invalid if there is an error. So form dot errors of name and the field has been visited. So form dot touched of name. This is invalid property does two things. First, to the entire form control, it applies a red border if the field state is invalid. Second, it controls the display of the form error message component. If is invalid returns false, the form error message never renders any error. But that is pretty much our Chakra input component. Let me give you a comparison of the regular input with Chakra input. In regular input, we add a div tag with class form control. In Chakra input, we use the form control component. In regular input, we use the HTML label element and apply styles to the element in app.css. In Chakra input, we use the form label component. 
In normal input, we use the default HTML input element with styles applied again from app.css. In chakra input, we use the input component. Finally, in regular input, we use the error message component with text error as the component to render the error message. In chakra input, we use the form error message component. So all that we are doing is saving ourselves from having to write CSS for the different form fields. All right, that completes our step one. For step two, let's add another switch case in the formic control component. So before the default case, if the case is chakra input, we're going to return the chakra input component that we have just created. Make sure to import it at the top and then spread rest of the props. Finally, in the login form, let's change the control prop value to chakra input instead of just input. You can test this component with any of the forms, but I've chosen the login form because it's a simple one. And just to make sure we have no conflicting styles in app.css, I'm going to remove the styling for label and the input. Let's now save the file. In app.js, change enrollment form to login form and head to the browser to test this out. On page load, you can see that the input is quite different to what we've been seeing so far. I can type in a value, click on submit. So the form state and form submission works fine. If I now clear out the value, you can see that the validation works as well. The styling, however, is completely controlled by Chakra. The form control component adds a red border to the entire input control if the field state is invalid. The form error message component also renders with an alert type icon and the error message is in red color. Our Chakra input component is working as expected. So this is how you integrate a UI component library with Formic. You can choose to build your own components with styling, or you can make use of components readily available from different libraries like Chakra UI, Material UI, and Design, and so on. But this pretty much is the gist of wiring up UI library with Formic. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.